it. The lesson that we taught today uh, was for the students to write a story in their own words that had multiple endings and to program the robot to tell that story, switch the ending based on user input. It was definitely cross disciplines. I saw language arts work. Students were composing, um, checking their own grammar, coming up with complex sentences. Syntax was really um, a big component of that as well and they could carry that over to um, computer programming. So it was really across the disciplines between computer engineering and language arts. So, so often people say, oh, robots in the classroom, that has to be a math lesson, that has to be a science lesson. This was a little bit of everything. It was uh, write your own story, uh, write it with your hand, type it, look at your spelling, what does uppercase mean, what does lowercase mean, all of these things that, that are generally taught in a language arts lesson were taught in this lesson. But on top of that, we put in logic. So what happens if, and having multiple outcomes, that helps them think through different storylines, if you're writing a story or even an essay. So it reinforces their language arts, their uh, English, while teaching and interacting with robots. So it's not all math, science, physics. It's, it's much more. Uh, I think autonomy is crucial for student learning. It makes learning purposeful and meaningful for our kids. I think if a if a activity feels rote or routine, the students just completely check out and there's no learning happening there. But when a student is able to exert their own autonomy and have their own creation and activity um, come to life, I think the students are way more engaged and they're um, they want to learn. They actually want to learn the concept of the day. And um, I know this is spoken a lot, but a lot of Stanford research shows the factory school model, which is the way schools have traditionally been built, which is have the teacher control so many actions to get them ready to work in a factory. Like That's not the way the globalized market works now. And so I think it really matters for students to have a sense of self and a sense of autonomy in their projects. It is so difficult to teach uh, very abstract concepts in computer science and math, such as angles, looping, if-then statements. Uh, this flowchart language helps them visualize what they're doing, and the reward of seeing it run on a robot gives them motivation to learn it better and understand it better. And everyone comes out knowing the, the concepts.